Content and Context Super Lessons provides professional development for teachers around project-based learning, incorporating the next generation science standards and common core math. So this program is all about professional development for teachers around science and also math. And the goal is to help teachers implement the next generation science standards, which were recently adopted in Oregon, and present a new vision for uh, science teaching. And the first piece is we know if students are not interested, if they're not engaged, the learning is not going to take place. One thing that I have really noticed happening is that teachers are once again getting really excited about teaching science. Starting with a driving question or some sort of question that frames the learning, that creates a need to know. It's not a question you can Google the answer to. It's something that, uh, that frames all the learning that takes place within a unit. And, uh, and those driving questions are inspired by the real world. One of the things that I really like is kind of getting that crossover between the four of them, where it's not just, okay, we're in math and we're just doing math. Well, we're doing science, but we can do all this measuring and we can figure out the volumes and how much water we need and how much water has decreased with the fish tank and the mason jars that we're gonna do. So I think that crossover, or maybe not crossover, but that unification or putting it together is really helpful because we do a lot of reading in, in science and we get to add the math and they're learning that extra component of math within the science and they're going to be building some things so they're getting that engineering in there as well. I really, um, I really do think adding that math in because it gives them a better idea of how they would use it within the real world. Um, so a big thing that we've been really pushing within these last you know, three or four years are how do I use this in the real world and how um, how are they really useful? Um, too many times kids go through life and they're like, I have no idea how I'm going to use that or why. And so by connecting it to some sort of science standards, some kind of engineering, connecting it to our technology, um, we're also making them understand that you can use it in any situation and that it's not just used just for math class. The Content and Context Grant's given us a lot of time. Um, it's given us insight as to how to design a, an integrated unit like this, a project-based learning. How does, what are the components? What does it look like? Uh, what are best practices surrounding that? Uh, it's also given us the time to really dive into the unit and create the unit and have it ready to go. Um, so we're not trying to create it on the fly. One of the things that I really liked about the C2SL project is that we had people come in that had already been through it and they spoke to us and I felt like that was great but the, the I think the best part has been just having time to meet with people from other parts of Lane County and talk to them about how we're teaching. It's an opportunity for the teachers that are working in teams to see each other face to face and have conversations about the projects that they're designing problem solve, how to instruct students on certain content area topics, and testing out things that they want their students to do. So they'll, they'll kind of do a test run of an experiment or um, an engineering design project that they want their students to participate in. Just that networking and professional development that we've received have really been helpful for me because this is my first year teaching science. Even though I teach all the subjects since I'm in third grade, um, no, it's, it's been good to kind of fall in love with science again. This is the approach that we've adopted. It's certainly not the only way to, to help students meet the, the standards and the learning goals that, that have been outlined in science and math, uh, but we, we know it to be a very <laughs> successful way and uh, it's a fulfilling way to do it as well. So that's, that's why we've adopted the project-based learning 